Good morning ladies and gentlemen for what is our last full day here in Monaco and we start the day with a sick lineup here at Fermont we've got in the far distance an Aventador, Aventador SVJ, we've got an A12 super fast, SF90, Euros and then over here another sick example of a proper proper supercar Lamborghini Gallardo Performante Spider LP 570-4 with loads of carbon fiber up. That's going to be a pain to remove. Look at the interior. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. That thing looks clean. I forgot to mention that this is a roadster. These are going for like a million or more. That's the first one. We're getting kicked out of the roundabout. Nice performante. We've been here for the last 5 hours and we've only seen like 10 or 20 supercars. We're going to the car and do some car spotting in the car and some parkings around Monaco. It just started pouring rain here, so we took the car and we are on our way to a disclosed parking location where we could see a lot of special cars. More to come. Thanks to Monaco's rain for the free wash, the car is looking clean again. You always have to see the positive in the negative. Found here a sneaky MC12. This is actually the car that took part in the window shopper video clip of 50 Cent. And now it's made its way down here at minus nine in Monaco at some random parking next to a polo or something. This is a piece of art. Look at the back, it's so white. Air intakes on the hood. You can see the wind flows in here and then goes into the cool. The MC12 is cool, but then over here, We've got a Ferrari F50. We saw F40 already, but an F50 is another level higher. Of course, we could pull the cover off, but we aren't going to do. But we could. Just say, thank you, Monaco, for the hospitality here. Back in and go back on track. Back from McDonald's, double hurricane combo. Glorious full black Hurricane STO. Back for wheel, as I always say. <laughs> That's definitely not stuck. Double STOs are leaving. Let's just appreciate this Chiron 
for one more time. I'm not quite sure it is a special edition. The light, the chrome accents on here on the 1500 horsepower, I guess. W16. It's another day and sadly our last day here at Cap du Martin. We're leaving our beautiful Airbnb behind and we're taking the MX-5 and we're going home. But not quite yet home. We're doing some stops in Cannes and Saint-Tropez. Welcome to Cannes. We're on queue. We see the same cars as in Monaco. Curious with a sick wing. And the Ford GT. So we're here in Cannes at the southwest of Monaco and we're here for three, two or three hours before heading to Saint-Tropez. Yeah, for now, as this guy almost ran us over, let's just head on to the hotel. Casual a GT3 RS just parked in front of the hotel. We've got a sick lineup here. Nice Porsche Turbo S, some light green, mint green with golden wheels. Casual G-Wagon in front of an Aventador. Also a glorious Aventador SV Roadster. Ooh, a trailer has arrived. I'm curious if something's inside. Over here we've got the 6x6, which we saw at the casino a few days ago. The most impractical whip of Monaco has made its way here in Cannes. Talking about proper lineup, we've got the SF90 Stradale, a 4x4 square, casual, and over here. Over here is something way, way nicer. We've got the Bugatti Chiron. I think this is the sixth, sixth Chiron we've seen this trip. So look at this one, just matching with the 6x6. I'm questioning the parking of this motorcycle here. But this Chiron has the carbon fiber body with some white matching paint. Just like the 6x6, just flexing together, hitting can. Oh, I'm going to miss these views when we're back home. Seeing Chirons everywhere, supercars everywhere. But sometimes, good times need to go. But they will come back. This car also has the most exclusive option you can take. It has the Superman logo with a custom K. All the hotels here are just stacked with supercars. We got the Aventador S, a new GT3 RS, two Rolls Royces over there, A12 GTS, a Roma, and if you look here, a 296 GTB. All familiar faces from Monaco. We saw that one yesterday in a convoy with a Chiron. But that Chiron is nowhere to be seen. These 4x4s are everywhere here. I think that's a new one. Can someone tell me why in the middle of Cannes, a print of a Bugatti tank cap just right in front of the Mediterranean? I don't know, tell me. Our time here in Cannes is over and we're now heading one and a half hour that way to Saint-Tropez. Welcome to Saint-Maxime. We actually need to be on the other side of this sea. But we're stuck in traffic for now. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So it is 33 degrees outside. I'm not sure if we're driving home today. I mean, look at these views. That's just beautiful. Sun's out, we're out on our way to Saint-Tropez. Over there is the Lamborghini Urus. But what we've seen in the distance is a Lamborghini yacht pulling up. So we need to go have a closer look at that. Lamborghini Technomar, limited to 63 pieces. And somehow we found one here. Looking cool. These guys follow us everywhere. We saw them in Monaco, Cannes, and now here in Saint-Tropez. Now the question is, where is the Ford GT? Let's find out. There he is, the Ford GT, all the way from Monaco. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm going to dive in for a second, because it's too hot here. I'll see you guys in a minute. With this, we're going to end our road trip here in the south of France with a view of the Lamborghini Yacht, just chilling 100 meters in front of us. So with this view, we're going to end the road trip to Monaco, Cannes and Saint-Tropez. 
and we're heading upwards home. We're driving there in two days, so not one straight drive. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this road trip as much as I did. We saw loads of unique cars which we haven't seen before. I hope you all enjoyed the videos. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all back in Belgium. Peace.